श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम You all must have heard sometime or the other classical music. In that classical music, the one who is singing, he keeps on ah oh ee sa na sa ni dhappa da ne man ne gan ne 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 ne. And we don't understand anything, and yet we say wow wow wow. And then. they will be chanting some raga dvesha this is malakams this is krishna kams chandra kams and we don't understand anything in that but because we are caught up now we have to listen see similarly i don't remember your name what your baby so he chanted वेदिक मंत्र वॉट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट डज इट मीन वेदिक मंत्र आर यूजलेस इट इज अवर इनएबिलिटी टू अंडरस्टैंड इन इन सत्ययुग दे वर डूइंग यज्ञ but basically it was dhyan yagya sitting for meditation for 10000 years 15000 years and realize the truth that was in satya yug then came the treta yug in treta yug all the baba ji used to be busy only in doing yagya इंद्राय स्वहा इधन नम वरुणा स्वहा इधन नम इफ यू रीड रायण देअर दिस इज द मेन थीम दैट राक्षसा दिस टू कम एंड थ्रो दी काउ मीट इन द यज्ञ और थ्रो सम ब्लड एंड देर यज्ञ वॉज डिस्ट्राइड दैट वॉज द मीनिंग ऑफ यज्ञ इन त्रेता युग देन वी कम इन द्वापर युग in dwapar yug the same word yagya remains the same but the meaning has changed change means what the mahatmas have told us this should be the meaning okay, depending upon the time and the situation words scriptures need to be reinterpreted so that the people of that time can understand and practice that is the purpose and therefore bhagwan sri krishna in bhagavad gita uses a word yagya same word which was dhyana yagya in the tre- satya yug which was the kriya ya dravya yagya in the treta yug which has become now the uh, bhakti yagya in the time of bhagwan krishna dwapar yug and therefore if you see the vishnu sahasra naam there are thousands of names and among them one name is yagya om yajnaya namaha and bhagwan uses this meaning of the word yagya 
in Bhagavad Gita in the fourth chapter. There he says, Yajna arthat karmano nyatra loko yam karma vandanaha tadartham karma kaunteya mukta sangha samachara He kaunteya he kunti putra Yajna arthat karmano nyatra when you are doing something for other than God then you will be caught up in the karma bandhan. But if you are doing something for him see and how to do Mukta Sangha Samachara. See, now those who are sincerely doing puja, they will be doing it perfectly. Samachara, Samyak Achara. See, you must have seen in the temples you go, I am there, the Panditji, he will ask you, huh, what is your gotra, this, this, that thing, and touch the flowers, and then you go there. And then he will be chanting on Vishnu. And Bhagavan has to catch the flowers. It becomes mechanical. See, Samachara. Our working, our doing should be such. That we are pleased with our own performance. See friends. And therefore, when we are doing for something higher, like you are all sitting in an ordinary chair, you think I am higher. Okay, never mind. So, you have kept me a different chair. See? Samachara. And when we do something perfectly, very well, one problem comes up, comes up. The perfectionist, they expect perfection from others. And it never happens. Because they are perfectionists, they are miserable perfectly. Nobody can help them. Therefore, Bhagavan says, Yajna means... Now see, again, bring the picture of fire. When you are doing the ahutis, Indraya Svaha Idhanamama, Varunaya Svaha Idhanamama, that time you have to focus your attention on the flame. You can't just do here and there, like we can do for offering the flowers. Krishna and it doesn't matter. But try to do that without putting attention on where the fire is. You'll get burned. See, friends, and therefore, Samachara Bhagwan says, we must be perfect in our life. But at the same time, we must accept imperfection perfectly in our life. That is spiritual life. See, telling others what others should do is no way. Again, in the third chapter, Bhagavan says, Yad yada charati sreshtaha tatta deve tarojanaha sayat pramanam kurute lokas tadanu vartate. Yad yada sreshtaha charati. Whatever, whatever the elders demonstrate in their life. See, you must have seen in your houses, the small kids, because they can't go out, so they play home, home. Brother, sister become husband, wife. And then the brother who has become husband, now he is playing the role of husband. In that, there is no script writer, there is no choreographer, there is no nothing, but it is perfectly done. There is no stage also, but they do it. And what is that? So the husband comes from outside, and after he comes, he will be uh, shouting at the wife, because that is, every day he sees at home. And then he'll be taking out from his basically nothing in his hand. Yadyada Charati Sreshta Tatta Devi Tarojana. See. If somebody is constantly talking ill to his wife or to his her husband, that is seen by the children. And they encash on that. 
See, friends, your bedroom is not meant for making love. Your bedroom is meant for fighting. But when you come out, in marriage mathematics, one plus one is equal to one. But what happens? In your bedroom you make love and you come out, then dharma kshetre, kuru kshetre, sama veta yudsava. See? One girl wrote me one poem in Hindi. Swamiji, shadi ke pehle mai, 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 mai. Shadi ho gai, kuch din tak ke, tu, 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 tu. Ab, mai, mai, tu, 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 mai, 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 tu, tu. Only fighting becomes our lifestyle. See, friends, yadyada charati shrestha, tatta deve tarojana. Then second thing, sa yad pramanam kurute. What is pramana means what? The authority of knowledge. Now what is the authority of knowledge that we honor in our life? See? We will be reading the ewes weekly, cows weekly, buffaloes weekly, donkeys weekly. What the children will read? Same thing. See? We are constantly watching all rubbish things on the TV or on our phone. And expect the children should not do that. No, it cannot. Be friends. Therefore, Yajna, according to Bhagavad Gita, he is leading a life of alertness and vigilance. Two things. Alert. Are we leading our life mechanically or we are leading our life purposefully? alert and vigilant. When we are functioning in this world, are we depositing likes and dislikes on our mind or our mind remains pure, calm, quiet? See, yadyada charati sreshtaha tatta deve tarojana sayat pramanam kurute loka tadanu vartate Therefore, in the fourth chapter, Bhagavan gave about a dozen yajnas. And after telling all those, uh, like, you know, the prane, apanam, and uh, uh, dravya yajna, etc. Twelve of them. Now, what we have to understand is, at the end, Bhagavan says, shreyan dravya maya yajna, jnana yajna parantapa. See, the word is the same, jnana yajna. Shreyan dravya maya yajna, jnana yajna parantapa, sarvam karma khilam partha, jnane pari samapyate. Now what is, what is the yajna? Fire is invoked and we offer the ahuti. What will be the jnana yajna? See, for the first time when I went to Fiji, just, uh, Fiji is the place where the uh, Kaliya Nag from the Yamunaji has gone. And there is a temple of that Nag. And the temple very peculiar. It doesn't have a roof. Because it is growing day by day, day by day, day by day. Like a tree. So when I went there, now there our Indians have gone three, four hundred years before, only for doing the... Um, some kind of uh, farming. So, not from the studied or educated, labors were taken en masse. And they were told, from mainly from Bihar and UP. Bihar and UP, now B, UP has changed, but Bihar, UP, Orissa, uh, Assam, the, and North India, uh, not, uh, North East, these are the labor hub they can provide you plenty of labors. So, so many labors were taken there. And they were told, you come there, you will get this, you will get that, and they were unloaded from the ship, and now they have to stay here. They have no choice. So, they took to Ram Charit Manas. And nice Bhajan Kirtan, living very beautiful. They are maintaining our culture over there. So, they have never studied Gita or known anything. They knew only puja, poti, nothing beyond. 
So when I went there and they say, Swamiji, we want like to have Gita Gyan Yagya. I said, okay, we'll have it. And then, now what arrangement we have to make? How many kunda will be required? And how many yajman require? And how many puja, saman, all that? Are Ram, 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 Ram. Shreyan, Dravya, Maya, Jnana, Jnana, Yajna, Parantapa. So in the Jnana, Yajna, it is the fire of knowledge where the oblation is that of wrong notions. I am not using the word ignorance. Ignorance for the word is very roughly and wrongly used. See friends, there is nothing like ignorance as we understand it. Normally what we understand by ignorance? Absence of knowledge, is it not? Ajnana, absence of knowledge. Knowledge can never be absent. See friends. Then what is ignorance? Ignorance is incomplete knowledge or wrong notions. See? So what is the Jnana Yajna? In the Jnana Yajna, we have to offer the oblations of the wrong notions. See? Dravya Maya Yajna, Jnana Yajna Parantapa. Then, Sarvam Karma Akhilam Partha Jnane Parisamapyate. All your karma, 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 papa, punya, dharma, adharma, going to hell, going to heaven, enough of it. How much you will work on that? See, friends, can we afford to continue to remain in KG1, KG2 throughout life? Kabhi to bade ho ja. Oh, life goes only in that. See, friends, and therefore, Bhagwan tells very clearly, Sarvam karma akilam partha, jnane parisamapyate. All your karma get burnt away in the fire of knowledge. See? Otherwise, there is no end. You do karma, you are born. You are born, you do again karma. There is no end. This is punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi janani jatare shayanam. How long are we going to go through the same rubbish? See, friends. And therefore, when Bhagavan says, all the karma is burnt away in the fire of knowledge, what does it mean? It means we have to define what is karma. This is very important topic. Karma is Action plus a sense of doership is called karma. In your legal language, document plus um, authentication notarized is called as a deed, is it not? If you simply take a printout and go to the court, they will not accept it. It has to be notarized and authenticated. Then it becomes a deed in the same manner. Every action is not a karma. See? We are breathing every day, is it not? Non-stop. Is it a karma? I am damn tired, I am not going to breathe now. No. When we take food, the food goes inside. Are we digesting the food? We are not there. Food is getting digested. And therefore, when there is a constipation, it is not a sin. When there is a dysentery, it is not a merit. Because I was not associated in the act of digestion. But the same thing. One lady, she was watching me. I said, Mama, come here. And I said, you know, before I take food, I offer it to Bhagwan Krishna. Today you are my Bhagwan Krishna. So, naturally she has no choice. Ah, I put it inside. Afterwards, she came and started crying. What will happen now? I said, nothing will happen. No, you know what happened? I said, I don't know and I don't want to know. Please understand this. We do not want to know anything about anybody.
if you really want to walk spiritual path don't talk about your past don't ask anybody about their past jaane kahan gaye wo din wo bhi gaye bhad mein tum bhi jao observe this when we talk to others we talk only about our past or their past and when we talk to ourselves we talk about the future you know after going from here now swami ji is coming for dinner and there are how many people are coming they never tell rs vp suppose there is sabji you know dal is raised what should i do add water and make rasam you know bhagavad gita satsang because we refuse to remain in the present friends these are the two areas where we have to consciously work and therefore this karma 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 is what karma is when action is associated with doership karma is there now be attentive if we want to get rid of the karma then the second chapter bhagwan says ma karma phala hetur bhuhu don't become the cause of creating the result of karma now what is the what is the cause of creating result of karma the cause is the sense of doership you know this i learned from whom you are all my gurus and your children are my maha gurus from every one i have learned something i have got tremendous respect reverence for you for one reason you are already busy with your own family problems life yet you find out time for satsang sometime we are full timers and yet we complain see so from people like you from children like your children i have learned this thing i was in somebody's house and uh, they had one monster child too much agitated what did this what did this come here break and all that there some houses there are children like that very excited so i was in my room and uh, all of them had gone out they said sorry we have to go for function i said you go i don't need you i'm okay in my room so i was reading or writing something evening time that boy came with the whole family first he has to come and report me what sami ji is doing the moment he came i became in meditation otherwise he'll eat my head and then he started looking here and there somebody has left some fruits and one bottle probably it was having oil in that now he went and saw what are the fruits here and there spread everything then that bottle what it is he lift opened it and it slipped from his hand and all oil came on the carpet he coolly got up and shouted dadi ma dadi ma beta kya hai see our kalpana our maid servant she has spilled oil in swami ji's room and that dumb grandmother came mera krishna ko i know this is like so the child knew if i am the doer i'll get punishment therefore deny doership so he was my guru whenever we suffer in life only because i have done this thing i have done this thing we can't even control our sneezing you all are meeting people must be happening sometime you are sitting all together some important meeting is going on and you say excuse me and everybody is receiving your sneeze and it doesn't come hey a dumb what can we control ma karma phala he turbhu but we have that arrogance i have done this i have done that. and suffer e friends when we thus want to get out of this karma karma then for that we require knowledge now what is the knowledge who is doing what 
whatever we do, for what we do. Now this is an example which I quote which, is, which suits you all. There are only two expressions of life, what we call technically pravritti and nivritti. Pravritti is getting involved, nivritti is withdrawal. Now you are all married. Now tell me, what for you got married? For becoming miserable? Further I will not talk. Nobody ever gets married to become miserable. See, then after some time we recognize our own mistake. Okay, then now I will separate. Then you divorce again for happiness. So you got married for happiness, you divorce for happiness. Then again you realize, now pahle hi thik thi. <laughs> Again you realize. What are we doing? We are struggling to seek happiness in life. Karma Yoga is express happiness in and through every expression of your life. That is Karma Yoga. Once you recognize these principles of Bhagavad Gita, then we are practicing Jnana Yajna. So in this Jnana Yajna, what we are doing, we are offering the oblations of wrong notions. We have wrong notions about the world. We have wrong notion about ourselves. We have wrong notion about God. We have wrong notion about spiritual practice. And with these wrong notions, we are continuing our life. And therefore, after one has gone through first six chapters of Bhagavad Gita, karma, karma, karma. Second six chapter, upasana, devotion. Now, the last three, the last six chapters. In that, we come to the fifteenth chapter. So be very attentive. You must have read, you must be remembering also. At the end of every chapter, there is one Pushpika. Om Tassad Iti, Sri Mad Bhagavad Gita Su, Upanishad Su, Brahma Vidyayam. Yoga Shastra, Sri Krishna Arjuna Samvade, Arjuna Vishada Yoga Nama Prathamo Dhyayaha. So what is Bhagavad Gita? Upanishad Su. Upanishad. Then what is Upanishad? Upanishad is the essence of Vedas. And what is Bhagavad Gita? Bhagavad Gita is the essence of the Upanishads. How concentrated. And the 15th chapter is the essence of Bhagavad Gita. If we study and practice what is said in the 15th chapter, you have done a great favor to yourself. These wrong notions are brought out and smashed in this 15th chapter. See, the first wrong notion we all have about the world. Urdva mula madha shakam ashvattam prahuravayam chandamsi yasya paranari yastam veda savedavit adasya urdvam prasruta tasya shaka guna pravruddha vishaya pravala adasya mula nyanusantatani karmanu bandhini manusha loke the whole world is explained. Now I will make it short. Urdhva mulam adashakam. Roots are above, branches are below. Some tree is doing shirshasan. Have you seen any tree anywhere like that? No. I will show you. Right now. Urdhva mulam. We eat from above. Adhashakam, we grow below and sidewards. So the tree which is mentioned in Bhagavad Gita or Kathopanishad also, the same mantra comes. See? 
So that tree is nowhere out. Our own body. See my friends. When lady asked this question. Where from the world begins, when the world is created and where, when the world ends? I said, now you answer my question. Ek sawal tum karo, ek sawal mai karo. Har sawal ka sawal hi jawab. So I told her, tell me when you woke up in the morning, morning 7 o'clock, I said the world is created at 7 o'clock. In deep sleep, where were you? When were you? What were you? Nothing. Don't look outside. This world comes into existence after body identification. When somebody is in coma, all tubes are there. And those who are paying the bills, they say, Bhagwan, we can't see her miseries, you know. Uh, se mukta kara do. That lady who is in coma, she is not miserable. She is not identified with the body. The one who has to pay the bills. <laughs> miserable. See, my friends, Therefore, where is the world? Where from it begins? It begins from body identification. See? This is my regular experience. See? Last night, I stayed with Gita. So when I sleep in any place, I keep the lights on. Because at night when I get up, I don't know where I may sit in the bathroom, where I have to go. Nothing is known. Because every night a different place. See friends. Therefore, this world begins when we are identified with the body. How long, uh, where from the world starts? The world starts from our body. See. And how long the world remains? Till body identification is there. Where the world ends, the world ends in our body disidentification. And therefore, Bhagwan says that which I told you, Urdhva Mula Madha Shakam, Ashwatam Pravuravayam. A beautiful picture come, you read the commentaries. So many beautiful things bring out. It is a banya entry, Ashwatha. Lot and lot of uh, um, commentary on that. Ashwatha, Shua means tomorrow, A means not. That it is constantly changing. That is the world. And Karmanu Bandhini, Manusha Loke, like the um, banana tree has got the adventitious roots. They are the Karma Bandhan, and we are blah, 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 blah. Don't get carried away by that. Come to the point. Therefore, Bhagwan says in the third verse. Don't try to see that world which is like Urdhva Mula Madashakam Na Rupa Masehatatopalabhyate. You will not see such a tree anywhere. See? Nanto na chadir nata sampratishta. Neither it has a beginning, nor it has an end. Be attentive. Do we have the experience of our birth? None of us have. Somebody tells us, you are born at such and such date. I was in uh, some village, in some place I don't remember, and many years before. And they took me to their very school. Swamiji, please bless the children. So I went and we chanted, Ram, Ram, Ram. The fight and it's over. They say, how many students here? So many. What is the age group? So they say, Swamiji, you can see the register. And it was such a joy for me. All the children have the same date of birth. 
said, how come happened? He said, whatever the parents tell, we have to listen to that. Because they also don't know. So they are the teacher. See, friends, somebody tells us, this is your date of birth. We have no experience of birth. See? Because we are not born. We are eternal. We are divine. But holding on to this wretched body, whole life, living by the body, for the body, on the body, on everybody. No. We have to get out of it. Here, this is the jnana yajna. The first step on the spiritual path is, we have to get rid of this wrong notion that I am the body. Now I tell you something more deeper. Be attentive. See? As we cannot stop reflection happening in the mirror. We cannot stop. Whether we are standing in front of the mirror or a dog is standing in front of the mirror, there will be reflection. You can't stop it. Exactly the same way, we cannot stop body identification. See? 22. What is to be done? Only learn from your experience. All the spiritual practices, learning from your experience. If we cannot learn from our experience, even God cannot teach us. We have to say, and we do say, Krishna Mande Jagat Guru. Aisa kuch nahi hota. If Bhagavan Krishna was Jagat Guru, why he failed to teach? The Duryodhan, Dushyasana, Dhritarashtra. Was he guru for somebody? No. Jagat guru. For everybody. See friends. The reason is, guru cannot teach. We have to learn. In Kaivalya Upanishad, the student goes to the teacher. Adihi Bhagavo Brahma Vidyam Varishtam Sada Sadvihi Sevyamanam Nigudham Yaya Chira Sarva Papam Yapoya Parat Param Purusham Yati Divyam Guru Maharaj, tell me Brahma Vidya, which is the Sreshta, best among every knowledge is. Please teach me. And all the wise people have gone by that path, you please teach me. Guru Maharaj washes his hands. Shraddha Bhakti Dhyana Yoga Davaihi Avaihi, you learn. You cannot teach anything to anybody in this world unless he is ready and capable to learn. See, this I learned from where one of my friends here in USA only, somewhere. Those days it was, used to be very hot summer. So he said, uh, Swamiji, should we go to a swimming pool? I said, yes, I, I wish I can go. Let's go. So after my evening lecture, everything was over, we came home. I said, we'll eat after uh, coming from the swimming pool. We went. A private swimming pool. His wife knows swimming. She came into the water. I came, I know swimming. Their son, three to four years, he also came into the water. He started swimming. I told my friend, hey, Mahatma, come in. Uh, no, Swami, why you... Then wife says, Swamiji doesn't know swimming. Your son is learning. Swamiji, I tried my best. All the swimming teachers have failed to teach me. I cannot swim. So tell me. Therefore, be attentive. Don't hang your guru on the wall and keep him out. That guru must be manifested in our heart. And guru manifests only when we are ready and able to learn from every single experience of our life. That is important. See, friends. And therefore, here in Kaivalya Upanishad, Guru says, Shraddha Bhakti Dhyana Yoga Davaihi. Study the scriptures, be Shraddha, be devoted to that, and work on yourself. And what is working on ourselves is learning from our own experiences. Now in this, we are standing in front of the mirror, we see our reflection. 
the dog stands in front of the mirror he also sees reflection what is the difference between the two when we stand in front of the mirror when we see our reflection we will be looking from different angle and this way that way number 1 Number two, we don't look at the mirror, we look in the mirror. Number three, we don't look at the reflection, but we are looking at ourselves. When we take the toothpaste and toothbrush, we don't put it in the mirror, we put it on ourselves. So, although we are seeing the reflection, we don't take that reflection as real. but we know it is me only now in case of the dog see i was in new zealand many years before and uh, the person with whom i was staying for the first time so this is somebody we do not know uh, how swami is uh, are to be attended please forgive us and what is best we can do i said you are done perfectly well i don't need anything only thing don't eat my head so uh next to my bed they had kept some books and all that and uh, when i was lying down i saw there was one book with a very peculiar title doga doga what i never heard such a book so i opened it and it was yoga for dogs and there were such lovely postures of the dog you see next time when the dog comes out of the sleep he does immediately surya namaskar and when he goes for the pavitra karma early morning he will be doing the uh, atma pradakshina see and then he will be again doing the their sashtanga dandavat and there after om purnamada purnamidam dogs also do the yoga doga see so when we are in a place we know reflection is not real but the dog thinks reflection is real he will start barking shouting fighting on that reflection no the dog decides i must get freedom i am in bondage there is somebody other than me dvitiyatvai bhayam bhavati Brudarne ko manusha says, therefore I must get rid of this other fellow. Then Kurute Ganga Sagar Gamanam. Then he does lot of holy bath, goes to the various places, dhanam charity, and then that also doesn't help. Then he does the yoga, and then he does the pranayam, and then he gives charity and all kinds of thing. Nothing happens. and in that struggle fighting with the reflection he finally collapses now what can be done to such a dog exactly the same way we cannot live without body identification now the reflection that was in the mirror for me as well as for the dog what is the difference difference is although the reflection was i have not taken it as real but the dog has taken it as real in the same manner you and me we take the body identification as real wise people do not take the body identification as real this is the only difference between the wise and the otherwise This is Bhagavad Gita Adhyayana Yat. When we are not identified with the body, that time these three parameters, where we are, space has gone. When we are, time has gone. What we are, object has gone. The world is a matrix three by three, and they are desha kala vastu, time, space, and object. we take them real so when we take ourselves to the body then all the possessions of this world that becomes our achievement i call it in simple words it is sukha kachra see 
and after body identification then the second generation is born the second generation is mother father mother sister husband wife in law out law and who are miserable these non existing entities are miserable see the same man with the conditioning of the father he is a son the same man with the conditioning of the wife he is a husband the same man with the conditioning of his son he is a father has he become three and who is miserable this three the son is miserable because of a terrible father the wife is the husband is miserable because of the mahakali avatar and the father is miserable because of the monster son man is not miserable now what has happened he has taken the reflection of his in his father as a son real he has taken his reflection in the mirror of his wife as a husband and he has taken that husband as real he has seen the reflection of his own in the mirror of his son and he has taken himself to be the father our condition and the condition of the doggy is 100% same हे कृष्णा आज तक जो किया पानी में गया हंड्रेड परसेंट फ्रेंड्स दीज रॉन्ग नोशंस वी हैव टू गेट रिड ऑफ नो बडी कैन हेल्प टेल मी द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द हजबेंड एंड द मैन tell me the time required for the husband to be a man and tell me what sadhana the man has to do rather what sadhana that husband has to do to be a man i am man i am not husband i am man i am not kya kaha nahi nahi i am husband i am not <laughs> are dumbo don't take life seriously i have seen the so called spiritual religious people as much miserably serious they are average people are not because holier than thou see now uh, we don't eat onion you know in our house outside we eat i don't see the movies in the theater as at home we have got a home theater who are we cheating friends we all cheat ourselves the most not to others and then we have got that notion oh, i study bhagavad gita i teach also bhagavad gita but actually you know people don't understand bhagwan krishna having told the whole bhagavad gita to arjun did not take any decision what arjuna should do he friends what is to be told i told you vimrushya etat asheshena yate chasi tatha kuru see you heard me yes now you decide no 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 you tell me what i should do never never any wise man will never take decision for others one day one young boy came to me he said swami ji i asked to so many mahatmas you know i am confused uh, what should i anybody i ask they say uh, no we can't tell you at least you tell me what is the problem problem is whether i should follow the path of sanyasa or i should get married so i told him get married you told so easily i said those who take sannyas they don't gather opinion of the people they take it when you are gathering opinion you are fit only to be married and suffer silently no way out e friends so first notion about this world 
a woman is created by god she is ishakarya created by god out of that woman a mother is created a wife is created a daughter is created god created of simple it is in god's creation there is no misery in our creation there is no joy all the time worried 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 and such worried frustrated people when they see somebody happy they become more miserable i remember one punjabi lady in delhi she was after me comedy you all the time tell be happy be happy get married and show how to be happy <laughs> that means what marriage is a license to be miserable continue marriage is not a qualification that because of marriage you are married no see friends therefore our wrong notion about us that i am man woman young old then i am husband wife brother father mother sister then i am in addition to all that i am successful i am failure i am rich i am all kind how much burden we have on our head in addition i am spiritual also are ram ram friends spiritual life is losing all extra that you have including fat lose that and remain non specific presence don't become anybody man is he becomes husband man is never miserable whether you understand i have no experience i can't tell see friends therefore wrong notions we have created we have to get rid of it now how to get rid of it we have to recognize this simple principle in the evolution unlike darwin's evolution in our scriptural evolution we have graduated from the inert matter to the um and uh, the plant life inert matter is be attentive only existence then plant existence plus life something is added evolution is happening then animals their existence life and knowledge third degree of evolution human beings existence life knowledge and happiness we are the instrument only for one purpose god has created he wanted to express himself fully see to kamayat bahusyam prajayeti he wanted to express fully so in the first expression inert matter came na maja nahi aaya then again he had the second creation then in that the plant kingdom stagnant in one place not not doing then he created animals animal kingdom even they they ahara nidra bhaya maitram cha they don't have good wisdom you know they some living mechanically na then he created human being and for what he created he created only for one thing he wanted to express 100% himself through the man and 100% expression of god through man is only happiness आनंदादेव खलिमा भूता जायंते आनंद जाता जीवंती सी माय फ्रेंड्स द पर्पज ऑफ दिस माइक इज नॉट फॉर द माइक 
but the one who is using the mic. Purpose, the mic has no purpose. It can be kept in the box like that. No problem. So, if somebody is using it for discourse, it doesn't become holy. For disco, it doesn't become unholy. In the same manner, what for we are in this world? It's not ours. Who is holding us? Whether disco or discourse. Who is holding us? If we are bhogi, whole life will be spent only the same wretched thing. Earn, eat, spread, mention, become a whole life, nothing new. Then the same mic, meaning the same life. See, one thought the other day I spoke, I was so thrilled by that thought. Don't seek God. Let Him seek us. It's a very bold statement. Be aware, be clear. I wanted, you, none of you wanted, I wanted to come and talk here in the, this place, which is this place, New Jersey. Then I was searching for a right, capable, willing person. I caught hold of him. In the same manner, he wants to express his full glory. He is in search to find out a right person. Who is the right person? He who doesn't have his own agenda. See? He is totally free, completely free. And not only free because he is useless. He is free although he is capable, he is willing. That is what Bhagavan says in the sixth chapter. Uddhare dhatmanatmanam natmanam avasadayet atmaiva atmano bandhu atmaiva ripuratmanaha. See, friends, therefore, what is the spiritual practice, jnana yadna, according to Bhagavad Gita? We should be such a fit instrument that He has to select us. Not going through quota system. Or giving donations. No. Be friends. And that can happen only when we are ready, able to discard and throw away sukha kachra and gila kachra. See? I have been going to your houses. In any house you go, they have got walk-in wardrobe. And once you go inside, it is difficult than a chakra view to come out. And so many pathetic clothes are hanging there, you know. I now remove it. Sukha kachra. Gila kachra. Dunya, all the whole world. Keep yourself limited to your spiritual path. How it is, be attentive. Nobody should even suspect that we are walking spiritual path. Don't become extraordinary. Remain ordinary. The moment you become extraordinary, you are going away from the spiritual path. See, friends, One day, somewhere I was taking food. One old lady, she came with great difficulty and she came and uh, brought some pakodas made uh, out of onion and all that. She says, Swamiji, 
I could not call you to my house, but I got it for you. I said, okay, okay. I'll eat it. Full of love. My uh, hostile. <coughs> you know, wherever I stay, that man is my host. His wife is hostile. The children are hostilities. And I am a hostage. <laughs> this is how my life is. So, that lady in whose house we were there, she saw somebody has kept saying, what is this? So that old lady said, no, I have brought for Swamiji some onion pakoda. Onion pakoda. Take, take it away, take it away. And that lady felt so bad. So I looked at her, I winked. I said, don't worry, relax. No excitement will solve any problem. Relax. And then, um, to get rid of that lady, I said, Mama, you are not getting me green chilies? So that was not on the table. So she went in search. Then I took the pakoras and ate them. And then she saw. Swami, Mahatma, don't eat pakoras. Onion pakoras. I said, you are right, Amma. But that is why I was telling her not to give you. I said, you are right. Mahatmas don't eat. I am a chota atma. See a chatma. I am not a mahatma. So, Amiji, I don't know how to talk to you. I said, keep your mouth shut. Relax. Friends, spiritual life is not becoming extraordinary. Remain simple. We don't have to prove anything to anybody in this We are answerable only to our own concerns. Are we at peace with ourselves? Are we lonely when we are alone? Discover this. We want constantly some company with us. But the problem is nobody wants us. Therefore, friends, this Bhagavad Gita in our day-to-day -day life, this was the third talk. I was told by Abhishek. Abhishek, what is it? What is it? Abhijit. What is it? Call a dog mad and hang it. What is there in the name? So, we have seen three stages. The first talk we have seen, the problem of our life is the account in the in a bank, and the name of the bank is ICICI. First, IC stands for uh, identity crisis. Second, IC is I am confused. That is what I is. I see. I see. I. Such a confused, frustrated person that Arjuna was. And he went on the battlefield. And what was the ultimate? Ultimate, he realized, I am not a grandson. I am not a disciple. I am not a brother. I am a warrior. That's it. First talk over. Second talk, when we start living our spiritual life, this comes now and then again in our mind. I have done this thing, I have done this thing, I, 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 I. See, friends, old people have got this notion. I am one of them. These days the children don't respect the elders. Now tell me what I have done to grow my age. What is my contribution? It is poor earth running around the sun and I grow one year. Uska abhiman. Those who demand respect, they don't command. See, if something is happening in our life, it is God's grace. Adishthanam tatha karta karanam cha prutak vidham vividha cha prutak cheshna daivam chaivatra panjamam. We may put all efforts, but the final touch is Divine grace. Don't forget that. Thanks. So that was the second talk. And today, 
So we have completed karma with proper understanding, then upasana, devotion, invocation of his grace, after putting efforts. Don't invoke his grace without putting efforts. He has no need. It is our need. Our condition, many of the people, they are so-called devotees, their condition is like a boy who filed a case against the university. And he said, I will fight my case. So he was in the court. He was asked by the judge, yes, tell. Sir, my friend, he got three marks, uh, grace marks from the university and he was declared pass. But I was not given the grace marks and I was declared fail. So he said, very good, you are prepared very well. Now tell me. What is the pass percentage required? 50% is required to pass an examination. Very good. How much your, uh, your friend got? He got uh, 47%. So 3% university gave? Yes. And he was declared pass. Very good. You are a good person. You have well prepared your case. Now tell. How much marks you got in the examination? I got 3. <laughs> Why university did not give me 47% mark? Grace ki bhi koi like you hoti hai. You have to be worthy of grace. Put efforts sincerely. Then the grace will follow. This we should never misunderstand. Otherwise, you know, Bhagwan ki ichcha hogi. He has no desire. Why will think you die? Who cares? You have to put efforts. This was the second part, and the third part came. Correct your wrong notions. We are all leading notional life about the world, about ourselves, about everything. Correct the notions. We are going on the right track. Give it a chance and be happy. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyonamaha Hari Om